Coming up next on this special edition of SUTV News, many people hate needles, but we'll show you how to use them to relax. Plus, find out how you can make a healthy meal even with a full schedule. We've got lots of healthy tips and sessions for you here this morning and all afternoon. SUTV News starts right now. Yes. For joining us. I'm Laura Shale and I'm Barbara Shindo. We are broadcasting from here at the SHIP Rec Center from the annual wellness fair. Today Shippensburg University wants to help teach you how to be more healthy. Great and several local organizations want you to become more healthy. As college students we are bogged down with a lot of schoolwork, part-time jobs, a lot of things going on. Sometimes we need an adjustment just to help the stress we put on our bodies. SUTV's George Garrett tells us how going to the chiropractor can really help. At some point in their lives, most people have to deal with aches and pains. However, it's not necessary to just suffer through it. Chiropractors like Dr. Caroline Diller of Cumberland Valley Chiropractic and Wellness work to ease your pain. Chiropractic is, is basically an alternative form of health care that allows me to focus on the nervous system and see if there's any pressure influencing how your body's working. You adjust the back to affect the nerves. Um, that adjustment alleviates the pressure, thereby making the body work better. Chiropractic can actually help with the headaches, the back pain, the ankle sprains, knees, hips, wrists, carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, basically, if it's a pain or it's inhibiting your function in some way, there's probably something I can do to, to help. Seth Cantler has also experienced the benefits of seeing a chiropractor. I've been seeing a chiropractor the last month and a half uh, due to an automobile accident. I was hit from behind at a stop sign and almost completely uh, healed from the whiplash. If I can do something and not take a pill um, that has a side effect, then I would rather do that. The patients that I see when they're older wish they would have done something about it when they were younger. What you do today affects you 20 years from now. <laughs> Press TV News, this is George Garrett to keeping Raider Nation healthy. SUTV's Steph Forbat is here to tell us about some changes they're making and some new programs they're offering. Usually when students go into the Edder Health Center, they would fill out a card and wait for a doctor to see them. New this year is the self-care. Any student could come in without having to see a nurse or a doctor and just walk back and you fill out a paper. And if it's within one to three days, you just have common cold types of symptoms. You can go to the self-care unit and you can pick up um, cold medicines. Starting in the fall, students will be able to be tested monthly for TB. TB stands for tuberculosis, which is a respiratory illness. Another thing being offered this semester is Gardasil injections. Gardasil is for uh, the protection from the HPV, which is a human papillomavirus. Happy to you know, be able to vaccinate not only females on campus, but males at, as well. So if you're between the ages of 9 and 26, we can give you the vaccine and um, it protect, protects both females and males from genital warts. To take advantage of what else Edder has to offer, stop by anytime. I'm Steph Horvat for SUTV News. Steph, you know, a lot of people think about staying healthy, they think about exercising. There's more to staying healthy than just exercising. A big part of it is eating healthy. And SUTV's Luke Martin investigates the healthy eating options here on campus. Students at SHIP have many options when it comes to dining. But with so many choices, how do students decide what to eat to stay healthy? I asked the Director of Campus Dining Services, Nick Ayula, to help me answer this question. Uh, I think the first thing the students sh should do is learn about what foods are healthy. They, they should realize that there are a lot of uh, vegetables that are very, very healthy and also provide protein. Nick also suggests that students take advantage of the product identifiers, or PIDs, when choosing what to eat at Reisner. We have PIDs. Uh, in, in all the food, identifying the real basic information for each item. It'll say like the fat content, total calories, total protein, total carbohydrates, just the basics. The PIDs can help not only with eating right, but drinking right as well. They should learn, for example, that it's better to drink skim milk than it is whole milk. Uh, some of this stuff seems so obvious, 
but we serve more whole milk than we do skim milk. Nick has some clear rules that students should follow when choosing what to eat. One, know what you're eating. Two, eat smaller portions than you might normally eat. And three, consider becoming a flexitarian? Um, a lot of students should be willing to opt to have a vegetable as, an, as their entree. We call these kids uh, flexitarians. That's going to help your diet tremendously just by, just by doing that alone. Nick says that students who change their diets now will start to see clear changes in their daily lives. I think the sleeping, they'll sleep better, they'll start feeling better, they'll probably start feeling better about themselves as well. For SUTV News, I'm Luke Martin. You've been finding out there are so many ways for students to take care of themselves. One way that's kind of nice is to get a massage. Let's take a look. Just yards away from the hustle bustle of life is ultimate relaxation. A lot of tension up here in the neck. In the hands of massage therapist Camille Bachman. Massage is, I think, a, uh, a modality that it, it's for everybody. Camille provides massage to a wide range of clients, including college students. I think you can reward yourself. You're writing a paper. It would be a great reward system. I think it's great during finals week. Many students try to maintain a healthy lifestyle in the things they do, but sometimes it's good to relax and let someone else do for you. This is where massage therapy can play a role. The benefits of massage therapy are not just skin deep. They also include relaxing your state of mind to a point in which you can achieve full relief from the daily grind. Massages can be affordable for students, as they usually only cost a dollar a minute. And for the times in between massages, there are ways you can maintain that state of mind. Some form of exercise, be it just walking to classes, but being in the moment. Don't be texting while you're walking to classes. Don't be on the phone, because it pulls you out of what you're doing. As you get closer to the end of the semester, take a break from the books and reward yourself. Take a walk on the path to complete well-being through massage therapy. All right, well, I'm here with Karen Walker from Carlisle Regional Medical Center. Karen, just tell us a little bit about what you have to offer today. Well, we're doing heel screenings today, which shows bone density. And it's very important that anybody from 20 to the elderly have this done to see what kind of bone density they have. Uh, we have a lot of educational material to keep everybody up and you know understanding what the intake should be for each uh, age group. And why is this important for college students? Well what we've been seeing as we've done uh, different heel screenings at different health fairs that a lot of 20 year olds are having low bone density which is very frightening and uh, they actually are having readings which is equivalent to someone in their 40s and 50s and it's pretty much based on lifestyle and their food intake and exercise and so we're asking everybody to come in today just to get checked out. Well, make sure you get your screening so that you can have a healthy life. Back to you, Barbara. I could definitely use a massage right now, and I bet you that Mary Rose could too. I am here with Mary Rose Wilson, who is the organizer of the Wellness Fair. Good morning, Mary Rose. Good morning. So tell me, why have a wellness fair on campus? Well, I think worksite wellness is becoming more and more important, and what we do is we offer a lot of information for our faculty, staff, and students so that they can learn new ways to enhance their health and to stay healthy. It's pretty important. A lot of students might not think about how important it is, but tell me a little bit about the history of the Wellness Fair. Well, this is our fourth annual Wellness Fair. It's a collaborative effort between Human Resources and the Counseling Center here on campus, and we have a whole planning team of about six people. Um, so we have been planning this every year. We get more vendors every year. This is the biggest wellness fair we've had so far. We have about 45 exhibitors here for this wellness fair. So we're very excited. And also every year we get more and more participation. So we're looking forward to lots of faculty, staff, and students coming in today. That's great. I'm sure there will be a big turnout. Now you said there was a planning committee of six. Um, Tell me about the planning process. How long does it take to put together a big event like this? Well, we start actually with the um, roundup meeting from the last wellness fair, and then we plan. We really start meeting regularly in the fall. We started in October, and we were meeting monthly through the entire year. Um, and then, of course, as we get closer, we meet more frequently, and then we're doing a lot of coordination by email and also reaching out to all of our exhibitors as we get closer. So when you start contacting exhibitors to come to VEND, how many months in advance does this take? So is this is about a year-long process? We try to get them on the calendar in October or November if we can. There are some exhibitors that are last minute or new that we may schedule in January or February. 
So how do you feel on the day of? Are you nervous? Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm thrilled to have as many exhibitors as we have this year. We also have lots of freebies to offer, so we're hoping lots of students will take advantage. We still have lots of empty slots for 15-minute free chair massages. We have acupuncture if people want to try that. We also have nutritional counseling. So we're very excited and we're hoping that students uh, will come and, and check out some new things. So out of all of the vendors here, which ones are you um, looking most forward to learning more about or checking? out? Well, we have some new uh, exhibitors this year. We have a, um, an uh, physical therapist um, that's new for us this year. We have a uh, healing center down in West Virginia that offers a relaxing retreat, so we're excited about them. Um, and lots of exhibitors that come back every year, and I learn something new every year, even from those exhibitors. So tell me, what are you hoping that the students and the faculty, staff, people that visit the Wellness Fair today, what are you hoping they'll take away from it? I'm hoping they'll take away new information. We have things like sleep health. A lot of people don't think of that as part of their health. Uh, we have information about visual health. We have all kinds of information about nutrition. So I'm hoping that they'll come away at least with more information and maybe having tried something like a massage or acupuncture that they've never tried before. Yeah. Do you think you'll try a massage or some oh, acupuncture today? I, I have regular massages and these are some of my favorite therapists that are here today. What about acupuncture? Do you like the needles? Uh, they actually, you don't feel, feel them most of the time. And so we're very pleased to have acupuncture here as well. All right, Mary Rose. Well, thank you so much for being here today and organizing this event. And I hope that we have a great turnout for you. Thank you. Still ahead on the special edition of SUTV News, there's a lot more coming. And plus, find out how these needles that Mary Rose and I were just talking about will help some students relax. More That and more to come from this coverage live from the Wellness Fair continues.